Now, with all my training videos, I recommend that you watch all of them because more than likely in most of my training videos, I do throw in extra tidbits, tricks, and shortcuts. Like in the previous training video on sum and average, that was the introduction training video to functions and the many different ways you can insert functions and get help on your functions. Assuming that you've seen that, I don't want to repeat it, so from here on out when it comes to inserting or learning new functions, I'm just going to do it the simplest way, well, that is for me, when it comes to inserting a function. So in this video, I'm going to go over the minimum and maximum functions, and it's just like you see here the labels, the minimum is the lowest, the lowest in a range of numbers. So when I'm looking at the cells for the range of January, I want to find out what the lowest cell was, and I could eyeball and go, oh, well, it's just over $10,000. And the highest, or the maximum, which is the maximum function, is over 35000 But you can imagine if you had a huge range, you don't want to eyeball it, do you? Of course not. So this is what we're going to be doing here. I got my labels, and for the month of January, I'm going to go ahead and insert the minimum function to find out the lowest cell for that range by hitting equals on the keyboard and typing in M-I-N-K-E-Y, no, I'm kidding, M-I-N, and you can see it's got it highlighted here, and it says in the pop-up returns the smallest number in a set of values, but it ignores logical values and text. So when I hit the tab key with it highlighted and it pops open the function for me to select a range, if I include January, that's text, it's going to ignore it, but I'm not going to do that. So let's just go ahead and select this range, and then hit enter, and is that the lowest number? Let's eyeball it. 10,000, 22, 19, 35. Yep, that's the lowest number within the range. Cool. Now let's do it for the highest. Max. Let's do it to the max. Equals M-A-X. There you go. Returns largest value in a set of values. Ignores logical values and text. With that highlighted, hit the tab key. Pops open the function. You can type it in. We covered that in the previous training video, so we'll keep it simple and to the point here. That Let's just go ahead and select our range. Hit enter. 35,000. Well, just over it. What's the highest here? Yeah, right there, 35,000, it checks out. So if I select the range here and want to be able to see that in the status bar, you can right click on the status bar and it's not highlighted, so I can check minimum, maximum, click off. There's the minimum, 10,000, there's the maximum, 35,000. So this status bar does work with the most simplistic of functions when it comes to the average, minimum, maximum, and sum, and count. And so that way you don't have to do it unless you want it static and you always want it there. Otherwise, dynamic, when you select it, you'll see it here. So let me go ahead and right click and deselect those. Not clutter up my status bar with all these stats. And then finally, as we learned, you can go ahead and copy and paste your formula as long as you got a pattern that is, well, Excel can recognize with everything tight together. And so when I Control C to copy, come over here, Control V as in Victor to paste, V, Control V, it pastes it. Did it paste it correctly? In other words, is it relative to the position that I pasted it in that it'll update according to that new column, which is column D? This is column C. So let me go back here. There we go, column C. And so when I come over here, there's column D. And as we saw over here, well, that's column F. And you can do that. You can also select it, hover over the bottom right-hand corner to get the autofill handle that we covered in the previous training video. And we'll cover in at greater length in a later training video, click and drag, let go. And in fact, if you want, let me click and drag and select the range. You can do it together. Click and drag to select both, and you get an autofill handle for both. Go ahead and click and drag over to the right, let go, and did it work? Let's select the cell. It's got the minimum function, but for the next column, great. And also for the maximum. D for the next column, and is the maximum 15,000 or just over it? 15 because everything is less than 15 and that's 11 175 yes that's the minimum thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please look in the description below this video